Hello everybody, this is Albert with Green Tea House. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're gonna to give the 101 on Jasmine Green Tea. Now before we begin, I highly recommend you check out our past episodes, in particular the playlist on teas that we sell and also the playlist on the fundamentals of tea. So Jasmine Green Tea is the most popular scented Chinese green tea. Uh, you can also do jasmine tea with white tea and black tea, but green tea is the historical blend with jasmine. And the important thing to know about jasmine green tea is vis-a-vis -vis flavored teas. Like if you go to a lot of uh, the typical tea store, many of them are, I wanna say unscrupulous, but what they care about is, is, is making teas that are going to get you to buy them based on aroma, because clearly, unless you're doing the samples, you can't drink the teas uh, when you're there. And so what they'll do is they'll add flavor enhancers, flavor essences, and artificial things onto the tea. So if you see a lot of like not naturally occurring combinations, like if there's chocolate chip coconut black tea, well clearly you know that that's not a naturally infused tea. So you have to be a little vigilant about those kind of things. But jasmine green tea is naturally infused. And what does that mean? It, it's not like they have green tea and they're going to spray it with a jasmine flavor or essence to it. What they do is they, they'll pick the green tea and then they're gonna lay it out. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna get jasmine flowers and pick those and lay them out. And either they're gonna alternate them on layers so the, the aroma of the jasmine will go up into the green teas as they alternately layer these, or they're just gonna throw them all together onto um, basically a, a, a large plate and they'll be bunched together so the jasmine and the green tea will be next to each other. Either way, doing this for a prolonged amount of time is going to naturally infuse the jasmine into the essence of the uh, flavor and the taste of the green tea. And this is the way that scented tea should be done. And there's other scented teas. We sell other scented teas here as well. And that's the natural way. That's the way you want to go. You just have to be very careful in some places where, again, if, if, if you see something like strawberry white tea, typically white tea is not going to be blended with strawberry and that's probably going to be artificial. If all else fails, look on the back, look on the ingredients, but just be wary of that. Jasmine green tea is also very popular in Vietnam. And like the other green teas, whether it be Chinese or Japanese, uh, the steeping and so forth, it's, it's pretty much the same. If you look at the liqueur of jasmine green tea, it's going to be similar to gunpowder, dragon well, some of the other ones that we sell here. It's going to pretty much look the same. The jasmine really isn't going to change a lot of the color. The taste, though, definitely changes. So if you juxtapose a gunpowder with a jasmine green or the jasmine green with anything in Japan, you're definitely going to smell and you're gonna taste the floralness of the jasmine. And it's just a great combination. It's a really good combo. And this is one of the reasons why in a country with over a billion people that, that jasmine green is the most popular scented tea. In terms of steeping, same thing. You know, with the green teas, again, the Chinese go to the episode on how to, how to boil your water, what temperature should you boil which tea. The Chinese are not super strict on it. it's got to be 175 degrees Fahrenheit. But since you might have a thermometer or you might have a kettle that's got a timer or a temperature regulator, 170 to 180, I would put it around that mark. Again, too hot, it's going to make it astringent and bitter. And if it's not hot enough, um, it's just not going to taste good. And sometimes you can under undercook, uh, under steep tea to make it a little more sweeter. But I would tell you, uh, probably 170 to 180. And as we've talked about in the past, do one session. So you can steep it for about three minutes and then pour it out and then keep those tea leaves for later, uh, you know, an hour or whatever, and then re-steep for another three minutes and then drink it and then re-steep a third time. That's a session. So you can re-steep those leaves. So in closing, jasmine green tea is a green tea. It's from China and it's naturally scented with jasmine flowers and it, it is a, a great tea and I highly recommend that you try it. Guys, post in the comments, let me know what your take is on jasmine green tea and of course we sell this tea all the time so just go to the website and check out the, the various options that we have and that when you can buy it. Until next time.